黄金の雨によって沈められた惨劇の火が再び燃え上がることのないのたとえたったの数百年であってもトイバールの意志は運命の鎖を打ち破る長く失われた現所の力許しはせぬ不毛な争いを終わらせる私たちの全身を支えるのは過去の真実だ明日の希望であるべき。もう巻き込まれちゃったからには、それを止めてみよう。よ、俺はジェイス。女神の代行者をやってる。せっかくだし、君の旅にお供させてよ。指揮官。ほら見て。これはどうだ。これで俺も。女神に匹敵する力を。なんちゃって。女神の力には及ばないけど。魔法使いの頂点に立つくらいの実力は持ってるぞラングリッサー危険が迫っていても焦ることはないマイペースで気楽に世界を救おう私の容姿が珍しい動きやすいように姿を変えているだけだファクションボックス Yes, Lone Bird knows exactly what the、uh, suffering is actually going to look like. If I get her and she goes in the box, she's insta banned. It, it's funny because even now, when I have Sage of the Trees who's in my box, who is a totally useless unit,、um, when people see that the rest of my box is all myth, they're like, well, you know what? Let's ban that Sage of the Trees. Which, in a way, I guess, is Sage of the Trees doing his job or a job. So. Yeah, Isolde is,、uh, is going to be banned. Oh, um. Am I wearing a hoodie backwards? Why, yes, I am. Uh, I looked all over the place for, like, some kind of dragon themed clothing. I thought I had, like, a dragon hat that I could wear that would be super cute. I don't actually have any, uh, like, shirts or anything with dragons on them. But what I do have. See, the. Little baby pouch on the front of my hood here now, the front of my hood, is a pouch for these two little gentlemen. A couple little babies. They're the closest things that I have to dragons. So they're here to supervise my summoning session for their mom, Isolde. So hopefully these little fellas will give me some luck as I go in to summon Isolde. Um, I think I start with summons, right? See, because the other thing is, I also have a bunch of、um, gear pulls now that wings, the breeze wings, are in the normal gear pool. So I could go and do a bunch of gear pulls as well. But I think, I think we do gear pulls after Isolde pulls, just in case if I get like ridiculous luck on a bunch of breeze wings. I don't even need that many, I need like one more. But if I get ridiculous luck, I don't want that to curse me for the actual Isolde summoning. So I think we'll start with the characters. Is there anything I'm missing, people? I got a bunch of summons. Someone can math this for me. Where's my calculator? So that's like 600 summons worth of crystals, another 100 in tickets, and、uh, of course the ever present 30 in pity. Moondoggy, I don't disagree with you, but I think we'll just、uh, warm up the luck muscles in the banner. We'll do it live. So we've got 30 pity.
Just make sure I'm not missing anything here. Johnny said he's going to come to the stream to curse my luck, so hopefully we'll make sure that Johnny's here as well. Got my tea on the go. Actually, drinking this tea is going to be a little awkward with the Crocs here. Normally I have a uh, pre-stream pour. This week, pre-stream pour is a green tea because this is happening at like 10 in the morning. Okay, um, let's jump in. This is summon number 40, and as I stated kind of on the various discords, my goal on this banner is to get about a 5-star plus 50 shard Isolde, and then Jace as well. So that's why I say I'm summoning hard. I'm, I'm willing to use all the um, vouchers and crystals that I have currently to get as many copies of these characters as I can. So that was summon four. Thank you for the follow, Mr. Gotcha. Welcome to the stream. This is summon number five in our first string of summons. And uh, we obviously don't want to start off this summoning session going all the way to pity because that will take a chunk out of my stack and also be quite demoralizing. We don't want to be demoralized on a day like this. So this is summon number six. Okay, we're going to get an SSR on summon number six. I have my trusty notepad here as well, so... So we won't lose track. For this one, as long as it's an on banner, that's all I care about, because I do want both of these units. So that makes total sense. Hey, there she is, Isolde. So we know at least, even if I spend all my crystals and I get a bunch of off banners, at least we've secured the character. That's the main thing. So there you go, fellas. There you go, fellas. Okay, so we got Isolde. Uh, and you know what? That was in 60, so we're just going to continue. Reset the pity clock. And we will go with summon number one of the next batch. We're still going. We got one in 60. That means we have, like... 750 left. <laughs> We're not getting one in this batch. So we'll go summon number two. Summon number two. And this is another one where it doesn't matter who I get, because if it's Jace, good. I want both characters. If it's Isolde, also good. I am totally fine with getting multiples of these characters. So no one in two. Let's go three. No one in three. Let's go four. Last time I was getting like... Didn't I get a double pull? Oh, that was on a gear banner though. I was getting multiple pulls in one and like not noticing the other gear. So the chat was very uh, essential for me to actually keep track of what I got. So that was in four, nothing in four. Buff Gardener, you made it. Welcome to the stream. Dreadful Cobra, welcome. We're going summon number five. Maybe Jace will want to come home one pull earlier than Isolde did, so let's just see. Maybe he won't want to go all the way to 60. No, maybe he wants to come home at 60. Maybe 60 is just going to be my lucky number this session. So this is 60. Happy Leap Day, Vermilion. Leap Day, Isolde Day. Come on, 60 for Jace. No, Jace is going to go longer. I have a feeling it's going to be Pity Jace. So let's go one more. We're going to 70. I have all these summons, and it really just adds up to like eight pities. And if a couple of those are off banners, you know, it doesn't mean I'm going to be getting a super buff Isolde. It could just mean like one or two copies of Isolde at the end of the day. 
So, I mean, it does go to show that having a bunch of resources is not a guarantee of anything. So that was pull seven. We're going to go pull eight. Every once in a while, it's a good lesson for YouTube and Twitch to learn that having a bunch of summons does not necessarily mean any guarantees. Takes me back to my Shaltier summoning days, 460 summons, and uh, no Shaltier to this day. Sad. But we can't think about that on a, a glorious day of celebration like this. So we're going to finally run out the clock on all of my vouchers, and we're going into crystals. This is summon number 90 for my second SSR. And Jace, if you want to prove me wrong, no, we are going to go to Pity, just as I thought. I thought the first one was going to go to Pity, to be perfectly honest, but it's the second one. The first full session in this summoning video. And here it is. Guaranteed Pity SSR, not necessarily on banner, but it is a guaranteed Pity SSR. And we shall see who it is. Maybe two people, huh, fellas? There's a normal Jessica. Okay, another Isolde. Let's get through this whole 10 batch, though, before we really fully celebrate, because... Hey, Ultimuler, a dupe ulti! My Ultimuler is not six stars, so that's actually pretty decent. I'm not complaining about that at all. That one was for Lone Bird. And for Tristan. We got the, uh... The non six star Ultimuler in here. Okay, so that was 100 for another Isolde and Ulti. Not awful! I guess if it was for Lone Bird, it would probably have been a Landford. And uh, my Landford is six stars. Okay, let's clear pity. We are going in for our third summoning sesh. We still need Jace. We do not have Jace yet. My rate so far is 2% exactly. All right, well, we'll take it. So nothing in the first 10. I'm seeing the chat is very optimistically calling Jason 20, Jason 30. Thank you, Pymiko. I'm hopefully going to have good luck. I ha feel like I've had decent luck so far. I've got two Isoldas. But we actually do need Jace at the end of the day. He is a bond unlocker, so we need him to make our Isoldas real dragon bombs. 60 from Moondoggy. Much more realistic. Much more realistic in terms of, um, like, historical Kong rates, at least. Northwind, am I going to use him for anything else? Uh, I'm going to build him up. Yeah, I'm going to build him up and put him in my box. That's why I'm okay with summoning multiple copies of both these characters. Lone Bird says on banner in 80. Okay, well, here's 30. This is our time to see if Vermilion was right. He's not. So we're going to go 40, which I think no one in the chat has claimed yet. So the next milestone is Moondoggy at 60. Actually, Sovenar says 50. So that will be the next summon. We'll see if Sovenar is right right now. This is summon 50 right here. And I hope you're right, because uh, I don't want to go all the way to 80 or 90 or pity. No, you're not. Okay, it's Moondoggy's turn. This is Moondoggy's summon coming up. And remember, Moondoggy's uncle does work at Zilong. So if he blessed my pulls, he may have also rigged when they're coming. Moondoggy might know that. He has the inside scoop. Not this time. It was an optimistic guess from Moondoggy. But no one in 60 again, so we're going to go 70. Hey, Johnny, welcome to the stream. Glad to see you here. 70 pulls. 
Oh, we're getting one in 70. That's like the only batch that no one called. Buff Gardener did call double Jace, though. So let's see if the uh, elusive 70 pull does fulfill the prophecy of the double Jace. There was a Jess. That kind of counts as a Jace. It's Isolde again. Okay, I can't be upset about that. Like I said, I don't mind multiple Isoldas. So that means I've gone 60 for Isolde, full pity for Isolde number two and an off-banner Ultimuler, and then 70 for Isolde. So they've all been over average, which is a little bit more expensive, but at least I'm getting her. At least I'm getting her. All right, let's go. We going. Summon number one. Ah, uh, no cheap one. Sometimes you get a little cheap one thrown in there just to encourage you. Uh, no encouragement for Kong. Not yet, anyway. Okay, summon number two. Sovenar's saying 40 this time. Nothing in two. Okay, this is the this is your chance for it to be three. Coming in right under the gun with that guess. Gotta be now. North wind calling 60. This is mean. I can't go 60 plus for every summon, can I? The game knows I won't be stopping anytime soon. I guess, yeah, but I mean, I always have a pretty big stockpile of tickets going into my summoning sessions. Not always intending to use them all. Although maybe the fact that I've been saying that I'm going to be using them all. Zilong's magic algorithms have picked that up and they know. So this is summon going into summon 5 already. Buff Gardener going ahead and calling a pity for me again. What a meanie. So nothing in five. Going to 60 again, so we're over 50 every single time so far. Yep. So that was six. Uh, who was it in the chat who called 70 this time? Oh, that was last time. Northwind called 60 and failed. Well, here we are. We're on to the 70s. Yeah, everyone in the chat saying this is a pity now, and I agree with you. So we're going to be going 80 here. Nothing in 80 as predicted. Once we get up around these numbers, I feel like it's usually always pity. Actually running out of tickets and crystals. Oh my goodness. Hey, we haven't hit pity yet, Buff Gardener. This is our last chance for you to be wrong. <laughs> this is 90 right here. Ah, uh, but you're not wrong. You are correct. We are going to pity again for the second time in this session. So here we go. To pity. We've got a guaranteed SSR coming here. Second pity. So we did 60, then pity, then 70, then pity. The first pity kind of didn't sting as much because we had the, uh, the off banner. Or not the off banner, like the dupe off banner, which, you know, makes the rate technically a little bit better. Isolde again, that's Isolde number four. Jace avoiding us, kind of uh, justifying the lengthy summoning session in a way. It's like, well, let's make it look like he has to go deep. So it doesn't look like he was greedy. It looks like he just had to do it. So it's just one Isolde, no dupe. 
So we are 360, 330 to, yeah, 330 summons in. We've got four Isoldas, so that's what? Five star? Five star Isolda and no Jace. And we got a little boost to our Ultimulars. So, let us continue. We obviously aren't leaving this without a Jace. Mr. Novo, did I post a build video for Isolde yet? Um, I just had the build section in the Should You Summon video, which is a pretty, uh, like, loose guide. I haven't gone through, like, her entire build, but I'm gonna build her after this. So once I'm done summoning, I'm going to actually build her up on stream. So let's go summon number two. Trying to get a Jace here now. Nothing in two. Elmert's Eye is calling it 30 for Jace, so that means it would have to be this summon right here. Ah, uh, sadly, no. I thought it was going to for a second there. So we're going up to 40. This is Sovenar's guess. Buff Gardener also hanging out here at 40. This is some optimism. I guess after going above 60 four times in a row, you figure it has to kind of pull the balance back? No, not happening. Not happening. We're going above 50 again. Fifth time in a row. Lone Bird is actually calling SSR in 50, but sadly, tragically, off banner. <laughs> Hopefully that double Ultimuler at pity that I got a couple summons ago, like, fulfills my off banner quota. So nothing at 50. Oh my lord. Oh my crocodile lord. Above 60, five times in a row. Five times in a row. And it's not going to be on 60 either. Here we go, 70 again. I know Moondoggy's out there calculating my rates, just waiting for this one to be pity again. I've gone back-to-back -back pity many times on stream, so that would not be new for me. Or any of you watching. Here is summon number eight in this batch. I hope I get someone soon, because I want another sip of my tea. I can only reward myself with a sip of tea after an SSR, so no one in eight. I feel pity again, my friends. Uh, Vermilion, yes, everyone should always be scared to pull on every banner. This is definitely Kong luck for sure, Elmer. <laughs> This is good old-fashioned, old-school OG Kong luck. So here we are on 9. Most likely not getting an SSR here. Yeah, back-to-back pities. Alright. Let's just get it. So pity again. Third pity in the session. We've gotten... We've had five summoning sessions and three of them. Three of them have gone to pity. Three out of five to pity. Three out of five to pity. Third pity in a row. Not in a row, second pity in a row. I did have a one stray 70 in there. Okay, it's Jace, so we got Jace locked down at least. Everything on top of this is gravy. Maybe now that I have both characters, Zlong will stop. Like they were holding out on Jace trying to keep me summoning. But uh I'm still going. What do you think I'm stopping? Are you crazy? We've got stuff to do here, my friends. It's 
So, I did Pity Pity, I got Isolde at Pity, I got Jace at Pity, now maybe Zilong will have Pity and I'll start getting some cheaper. I mean, I haven't had anyone under 60 yet, that's crazy! I need to get some SSR. In under 70 pulls, come on, let's balance out these rates here. Single-handedly balance out the rates. Going number three. Nothing in three. Wow, this... The rates really are rough this time. So we're going four. Yep, we're going to be five and above for our sixth pull in a row. One of the things I always say about summoning streams, though, is that, um, like, they can be great catharsis if you want to see someone pulling a bunch and doing a bunch of summons, wasting a bunch of resources. It can either dissuade you from doing that because you get, like, the satisfaction of seeing a bunch of SSRs get pulled. Or it can dissuade you from doing it because you get to see how horrible the luck is and you're like, I don't want to do that. So like either way it happens, it's still kind of a catharsis without having to, um, you know, put your own money on the line. So nothing in five. We are officially in 60 territory. That's six summons in a row of 60 or more. Wow. So nothing in 60. We're going 70. Can you imagine if we, uh, if we pity again? Can you imagine? Can you imagine if we pity again? This is 70, right? Okay, so we got someone in 70. I mean, not like that's good, but it's not pity. Six summons in a row of 60 or more. Okay, Jace again. That's fine. I don't mind getting multiple copies of Jace. I said, when I said I was going all in on this banner, I meant I'm cool with multiple copies of both characters. So we got Jace up to four star. Uh, let us reset our summoning here. We'll summon from out here. Maybe continuing in that session was like continuing the luck of that session. Uh, we are going to go again, though. So strap in. Strap in, fellas. Strap in, boys. This is summon number one. Our first temple of this sesh. Just joined, how's it going? Leo, it is going extremely poorly from a rates point of view, uh, but I, I did get the SSRs that I want. It's just been really expensive. Just terrible luck. But you know, what do you expect? It's Kong. Thank you, Zuko. Now Zuko shows up after I've already had atrocious luck to wish me good luck. And now if I have good luck from now on, it's because of Zuko. So sure enough, that's our very first batch that we got an SSR in less than 60 pulls. <laughs> so that was 20 for whoever this is. Our very first one below 50. It's another Jace. Okay, so that's my third Jace. And fourth Jace! A cheap double. A cheap double. And Jace is now outpacing Isolde. So what do we got here? We've got 60 for Isolde, another 100 for Isolde, and Ultimuler. 
Uh, another 70 for Isolde. Another 100, so another pity for another Isolde. That's my four Isoldas. And then I went pity 100, and then 70, and then 20 for four Jaces. Pretty good. I say we continue on this session. I think we're looking for one more Isolde, and then we're pretty done. Would one more Isolde get me to 5 star plus 50? Is that what I'm at right now? I mean, I know I literally just counted my characters. But uh, I didn't have time to do mental math on stream. One more Isolde. Chat is saying one more and then I can stop. <laughs> All right, another 20 and another SSR. Fire Lord Zuko bringing the luck. Hopefully bringing the luck. Should have showed up earlier, Zuko! <laughs> uh, I shouldn't get too hyped yet because we don't know who this is yet. Well, some of you do, who are journal prowling. Okay! that There she is! All right, five plus 50. Is that enough? I think it is. I think five plus 50 lets me do her Gates of Fate and then I have enough um, rainbow shards to get her to six star from here. So I think I could get her to six star from here. I have like under 20,000 left. That's all gonna be for Giver because as we know, I'm a huge Giver fan, and I'm saving up for that collab. Saving up? Yeah, it looks like I'm saving up, right? This definitely is what saving up looks like. Actually, you know what? I mean, I say I'm saving up, but there's one very Kong way to save up for things, isn't there? I think I need to at least build up, like, 20 or 30 pity, and then... Hang on to that for Giver. So let us jump back in here. We'll get a little bit of pity. We'll get a little bit of pity, like we'll guild the uh, the rates with a little pity build for Giver. So these this ten summons is ten off for Giver next time. Looking for something cheap. Well, actually, you know what? The last two. The last three SSRs that I got were in 20. So I think we need to do one more. We need to go 20. We need to give this summoning session its due. Uh, it gave me two Jaces and an Isolde all in 20, so let's go 20 here. If I don't get someone here, I swear to Transcender that I'm going to keep this and carry it forward for Giver. But we have to at least put 20 on the clock. Lucyrus has been... Uh, has been cool with 20s. Okay, we're stopping for sure. We're stopping for sure. <laughs> I don't want to stress everyone out too much. Okay, Pity, you can get out of the way. We still have two things left on the agenda for this stream, though, my friends. I'm going to build up this Isolde, and I'm going to do some accessory summons. Now that Zuko's here, I want to get these accessory summons done before Zuko leaves, because uh, Zuko brought good luck. So I think, what do we have? We have an accessory in the Forbidden Battleground, right? Let's start with that one, because it's the one that's the sketchiest. We're looking for one copy of Breeze Wings. I think I need, for my box going forward, I need one more copy. And then the rest, I would be cool waiting until the new butterfly accessory goes into the pool. Um, where else do we have... Where else do we have accessories from? Ooh, I'll take this. Always buy those. Oh, I already did this one. What a dummy. Well, we have a bunch of these. We have a bunch of these. What else do we have? We have the monthlies. Let's do the monthlies. So, two chances here. Nada. Nada. Didn't we also have some, like, le more leftover event ones, or was Forbidden Battleground the only one left? 
I'll come back to this honor store. I'm gonna go exploring. Uh, there was one in the floating shop, but I stupidly already used that. I used the Timeless Trial one before the stream started. Dimensional Expedition. Yeah, good call. Yeah, there it is. Good call, Northwind. Not a... Eye of the Beholder, that's my second Eye of the Beholder, though. Alright, that I think is it. So we'll go to the Honor Shop. And what are we gonna... Are we gonna do ten at a time, just for, like, the, the splurginess of it? Ten at a time, looking for... Really, we'll be lucky if there's any SSR in here, but we're looking for one wings. Let's go, Zuko! It's a holy arc. Alright, let's go again. Sovan are saying five at a time? Is that enough hype? We'll do five, just, just because he said so. Not even an SSR in that batch. No, you gotta go ten. I think you gotta go ten if you want to see an SSR at all, because the rates on these are so low. Alright. These are actually both usable, but they're not what I'm looking for. So we'll do another ten. Another judge. Got some speed boots in there. Is there any reason not to, like, blow all my honor points? Because, um... Like, the butterflies are in, like, four wings. I'll have... or four months. I keep... I have wings on the brain. Uh, four months gives me enough time to save up more honor. So I think we blow it. Blow it and get some wings! Hey, there's old wings! Fake wings! Poor Apex Boots feeling so sad about their future. That's a lot of accessories. And this will... Actually, you know what? I better save some. Yeah, that's a good point, Soda. Monthly reset is tomorrow, so I better at least save this much. So that I'm able to uh, get that guaranteed SSR accessory tomorrow when the monthly reset happens. And I have enough to do these again tomorrow as well. So that's a few more chances at an SSR tomorrow. I guess let's build his old up now. Let's see what we got here. I don't think there's anything secret in my barracks that I need to hide from Hale as my future playoff opponent. Just checking main cord to see what Hale's saying about his, uh, Isolde and Jace, because, as we know, he's gonna be my first round opponent again. Looks like he'll have five-star Isolde and six-star Jace for playoffs. Wow, so he went all in as well. Okay, I'm not going to blow those until I do her Gates of Faith, though, because that will save me 15 Rainbow Shards. Ah, uh, yes, he's in uh, journal entry mode. That makes sense. So this is the fun part of building a hero, isn't it? watching these class transformation animations. I noticed the Crocs are getting really excited seeing Isolde now in action. The building up Dragon Mom. Yeah, no wings. That kind of uh, is a bit of a bummer, but that's fine. Leo, what's better, infantry or dragon? Currently dragon. She has more mobility with dragon. I can move this down a little bit so that we can get the crocs actually in the frame a little bit better. They are the true stars of this show. Is Isolde collab? Nope, she is a Langrisser M original character. 
How many poles? Uh... Five hundred and forty poles for five star plus fifty Isolda and five star Jace. And one off banner Ultimuler who was not six stars yet. So even my, like, weird, like, unlucky... I was unlucky with the rates. But, uh, I was lucky with the actual pulls themselves. Actually, that reminds me, I should go check if I can star up my Ultimuler. With that 50. Extra 50 shards for ulti. Maybe get him up to 5 star? Mm. <laughs> Make Tristan proud. Uh, he will not be put in the box or used in PvE or anything. I would not put Rough C on. Um, people can use Breeze, especially if you don't have Wings accessory. Personally, I think Full Moon is easily best for her. Just given the way she works. She gets an overshield, so it's harder to bring her below 80%, uh, so she gets a little bit more benefit out of Full Moon. And it also just, I mean, it increases her attack power and her bulk, and she's already kind of a bulky mixed unit in that way anyway. So let's see, what do I actually have for her? Uh, unfortunately, the roll on that is terrible. Well, I have a 15% attack roll on that. But I'm going with Rag on mine. And my Full Moon Ragnarok rolls are also bad. That one's... okay, that one's fine. Yeah, we got hit points on this one. Uh, we want Last Rites. So the 5% attack with 7 HP. Do I have a better full moon rights than that? Uh, let's see if I have like an unbuilt but rolled one sitting on someone. Here's one. Oh, that's a that's an int one. Okay, well we'll have to probably roll another rights to try to get 5% attack with more bulk. On your armor slots. You typically want good double bulk. So for her hat... Mm, I'm not thinking about tier, really. Oh, did I go buy my Neords? I would like to have a, a good Neord. Okay, this is a good roll on this Neord, so that's what I'm going to keep. If I didn't have a good roll on the Neord, I would consider another Helm. But that's a pretty good... That's actually a really good roll, so that's a no-brainer to go on. And finally, Breeze Wings. We have... Uh, we will be re-rolling both of these. I mean, this has a couple bulk stats, but it's not 7 plus 7, and this really should be attack. If that was attack, this would be a keeper roll. Uh, so I think, I mean, I might, this has no attack, so I literally might as well re-roll this one. But we'll get there. <clears throat> Let's cast her up now. Part of the reason for doing the expensive stuff now is so I'll see how much gold I have left to build Jace after. I want to build him and use him. Uh, but building a character from scratch is really expensive. So, obviously, I want to make sure my Isolde is done before I start branching out into other characters, right, fellas? Um, let's see. How high is a six-star built Isolde defense? Well, we're about to find out, very buildy. 
Does Breeze accessory stack with Breeze movement? It kind of does in a way. If you end your turn with the Breeze Wings accessory, you get plus two mobility. If you end your turn and you already have another mobility buff, you get plus three mobility. So there is a benefit. Okay, so there's a full 10 cast, Isolde. Uh, but we still have some other stuff to do, obviously. Uh, Northwind, what soldiers does she use? I think she... I mean, I frequently see her with Lizard Riders. They're a good troop for her. She could probably make use of Pegasus, maybe Werewolves as well. It really depends on what you're up against. I'm arcing her on uh, Lizards right now. Actually, for power stacking purposes... No, I'm going to run her with Lizards in her Gates of Fate. We'll do her Gates of Fate next because we want to um, get her start up to six stars so we can finish building her. Just going to throw some base level rolls on here. Don't really have a lot of attack. Stones, but we can go and acquire some new stones as well. The Kong summoning luck is continuing on to my um, stone rolling luck. <laughs> AKA not great. I, to be honest, variability have not had occasion to be really worried about Selvaria sniping anyone. Just never run into her, so I would not be able to tell you. Someone with more Selvi experience, like maybe uh, Lone Bird or Vice, might have a better idea of her thresholds. But I've also, in watching Chinese matches, I've never seen Isolde go up against a Selvaria either. So that is something that if we were interested in it, we would have the tester. Okay, at least I got a couple of defense one clicks. We will come back to these rolls for sure. These are atrocious. That's a nice attack roll. Um, defensive. We do not like the crits. We do not like the crit damage. Oof, this is just... This is gonna take some work. Um, next... Let's do her bonds. Let's give her some dragon gifts. Special jewels from your two little crocs, your hoodie crocs. Get rid of all this low stuff first. Does anyone else have little traditions and rituals for how you burn your resources? I usually get rid of all this like, non-jewel stuff and just keep the jewels. To, uh, keep the inventory clean. But now that's not really needed now that, like, hammers stack, so I think we're all sitting with, like, thousands of free inventory slots. So let's just get our juiced up here. Lupus, I would say, yeah, overall it went well. It was expensive, though. Like, uh, every batch took a lot of summons until the end when Zuko showed up and finally brought me some good luck and I started getting characters a little faster. But the early summons was like 70, pity, 70, pity, pity. All right, let's burn some more gold.
So for this, this one we need Jace. And Dragon of Salvation with Prisha. Thousand or more total damage with a single attack. That should be easy. Probably do a thousand damage just with my Ragnarok proc. You'll get to see how I do my Gates of Fate, too, which is that I skip everything and just try to build the character. Okay, so the very first battle is against Shadow Link? That's crazy. Alright, there, I did over a thousand damage. So now I need to be above 30% when the battle ends. Is that the other one? Maybe this is a battle like the, uh, the Cecil versus Cecil battle in Final Fantasy IV, where I'm supposed to do nothing. Survive for three turns. Yeah, okay, we can do that. That's a cool move. Well, let's attack her again if we're going to be surviving. Um, let's not even take a will. Skipping dialogue. Yes, skipping dialogue is the fastest way to get to a fully built Isolde. Hutaru, welcome back. Thank you for subscribing. Azolda, my soul, for six star with 666 pulls. How did you do? Did I do 666 pulls as well? I know I counted this like right before my stream ended. No, I did 540 pulls plus two for pity. So 560 pulls. I got a five star plus 50 shard and a five star Jace and 50 ultimate shards. Overall, pretty good. So, with Rainbow Shards, we are going to be able to get her up to six stars here. Win in five turns, fewer than four civilians evacuate. Oh man, this is an old dude with a beard! Definitely got to save him. What does fewer than four civilians evacuate me? Isolde reached the target destination. In five turns. Why wouldn't I just bring a teleport? The old reach the target destination trick. Maybe he turns into a bearded dragon if you save him. I'm less concerned about saving him. I want him on my team. Can I slow down these civilians so they don't get themselves killed? Go, Isolde! Oh no. Oh, so close! <laughs> what are you doing? Not killing civilians. Oh wait! She also has teleport, so that was clearly, like, the intended method. Ooh. 
bring it in, civvies. Unless both as old as need to uh, evacuate, that would be pretty funny. Okay. I mean, that was only the second level, so of course it's a funny little easy gimmick. We don't want to miss any feats, because I theoretically don't need to come back and do these battles again. Win in two. Isolde has at least 70%. Guess what? So it's just another one-on-one. -on -one. Do I, do I have better skills? Alright, thanks Northwind for coming out. Thanks for experiencing the heartbreak. <laughs> Mark, got to level 39 and the game is so time-consuming it's crazy. Yeah, the game is really time-consuming at the start, for sure. Like, there's a lot of stuff to do at the beginning of the game. So it's definitely always keeping you, uh, in the action. Tell me that was the whole battle. I'm definitely going to be building my Jace as well, but I'll probably build him off-stream since... Breakfast is overdue, and I know people are here, especially these fellas, are here for Dragon Mom content, not so much Jace content. So beginning of the struggle, this is the Jace one, right? I want to double check because I don't want to bring the wrong person. Beginning of the struggle with Jace, yes. So we'll bring our level one unbuilt Jace. Four or less heroes, as Zolda defeats three enemies. That should all be pretty doable. So we know we don't want... Oh man, look at these guys. There's a lot of enemies. Okay, so we want Jace, sure, and then we want Actigans for Isolde. I guess you have to stay there. That's fine. So, bring four. Jace is in here. And she just has to defeat three. Oh my gosh. I went a little bit overboard with the uh, act agains, I think. <laughs> well, we'll do these guys first. One of these gives me an AoE, doesn't it? I think it's that one. But it's a small AoE. Go get him, Isolde. This is the Isolde show, after all. It would be criminal for someone else to get all these kills. 
All right, she got at least three kills. <laughs> She's not primarily an AoE unit. I mean, I'm just using AoE here because... I have a lot of guys to clean up and there's a, a feat for her getting lots of kills. So, I mean, if you were to use Balance Blade in her infantry form, you'd be kind of locking yourself into one strategy. Her single target one-shot potential would go down with Balance Blade for sure. But I bet there will be people out there who are running it. Yeah, that's an accurate depiction of what just happened. Give me that 30,000 gold. Every little bit of gold helps. Because we are just getting into the expensive bonding now. I did the cheap bonding. So it was Prisha for the last one, right? Isolde needs to be above 60. Jace needs to be above 60. Okay. Zolda above 60, Jace above 60, and I need Prisha. Uh, usually, we would just bring some Bozlage. Yomo going with the old Memer Hammer build. You know what? I think that's fine, though. Memer Hammer. Hang on. This music is rad. Is this in the game? I want this to be my map music. You have like 40 summons. Is it enough? Enough for what? You don't have as old as attack bond partner. Well, I mean, if you were looking to, like, have a fully loaded up Isolde with 40 summons, that means you would need to get Isolde. Prisha is going to be on a banner next week, so you'd need to be able to get her as well. And I always cynically uh, just don't believe that I'm going to be getting a unit until Pity, which, as we saw in my summons earlier, was kind of borne out. Alright, what's the map gimmick for this? I don't want to just, like... No one can be hurt, basically. Oh yeah, this is an NPC Jace as well. Maybe I should read the dialogue for this one. Oh man! Good thing reinforcements showed up to get totally obliterated. 
Oh, I see. Them dying causes Azolda to get strong enough to do damage to these enemies. Well, thanks for showing up, noble sacrifices. <laughs> I may have to rewind, though, because I put this NPC Jace in harm's way, and I need him to be above 60%, which he's not. So we'll hide him. Can he be hidden? Oh, well, I could heal him with Azolda, kind of, but do I want to do that? I want to end the battle instantly. I don't want him to get attacked by all of them. Maybe if I just hang here. And not attack anyone, because the first attack is what caused me to get hurt. Yeah, I could heal him with Azolda in a pinch. I hear Mrs. Kong upstairs feeding the Dobermans their lunch. Yes, the Dobermans get lunch. They really appreciate it. All right, Jace. All right there, above 60% Jace. Good old tank Bozel down there. Yep, kill these guys. Well, that's kind of useless, since Bozel's going to be doing his Bozel thing. That's I didn't take the AoE on her. I mean, we know she's going to be above 60% because she's actually built. Run, Jace. It is 60%, right? It's not... Okay. Oh, man. One of the apostles actually putting in work. Yes, start refreshing the summoning stack with these uh, achievements. Do we want to watch the conclusion? Forever fight against light and darkness. One of the staples of Langris, or one of the more annoying staples, is uh, the both gods are truly the bad guys. All right, let's get her unlocked.
Gosh darn it, give me more of these hearts. I need a few of these. Okay. I'm actually still doing all right on the gold front. Like, that lets me easily build Jace. That was like... Almost 20 million to build her. Lone Bird, I'm not ready. <laughs> or did you send that because you have to go? Okay, what else? What else? Right, we have the six star. We can still do that. There she is. Then you rolled 200 plus scroll packs. Yeah, that'll do it. That's the thing I'm not looking forward to. Actually, you know what? If I was smart, I wouldn't six star her till Saturday. That only saves me six rainbow shards and I don't need them for anyone else. So, yeah, fuck it. We'll just do it now. No sense making Lone Bird wait two days for a Selvaria test just to save six rainbow shards. Six rainbow shards is nothing. Okay, the only other thing I'm going to do after six starring her Lone Bird is... Well, I want to do a couple things. Uh, I have to unlock her 3C. And I have to reroll this shit. So we need attack stones. Ooh, 100. Love to see it. Is it three from a surge stone? No. Oh, you bastards. <laughs> Okay, that's good. We need a little bit of hit point stonage. Mostly attack stones. Nice. Nice. Who's pinging me? Getting pinged. Oh. It's just a screenshot of my summoning. Okay, we need both arena crit stones. Attack stones, some hit point stones. Both arena crit stones. What are these things doing here? Actually, I'll use those for Jace since I know I'm going to be doing him after. Since I never use these, where are my arena, actual arena stones? These guys. Never use those. How close are you to the top of my list, Isolde? Not even on the front page yet.
Nice. Surgible. Nice. Think we're not surging this shit? Of course we are. Come on. Surging this too. We just need that to be 28 or more so we can surge it. So we need way more attack stones, and we need a little bit of defense stones, too, here. I oh no, I still have some. I thought I ran out. I will run out. We're going to be perfectionists with her, so please be patient. I'll go get her 3C after this, so we can see some more interesting combat. Wow, those were bad rolls. That's better. So we still need uh, this little green axe thing. And we need defense stones. Hit points are all perfect, right? That will be if we surge it. So lots of attack stones, a little bit of defense stones. Don't you love having like 16,000 dust? Lots of attack stones. And we'll also grab some defense stones. Although I have a feeling I'm going to need lots of defense stones as well, since I'm being picky with that perfectionist roll. It sounds like I'm getting emails and stuff from work, and I am not at work. <laughs> Come on, let's go. 25. Yes! Exactly what we were looking for. We just need this to be 28, so we can surge it. Ooh, having rough luck on that guy. Let's go get some more attack stones. I was gonna get some of these too, wasn't I? The reason I have to do all this first is because the, um, you know, the battles to unlock her 3C are going to be so difficult. I need to make sure I have the power. Wow, that's okay. I'm going a little bit overboard there. I'll probably just surge it and uh, move on. Probably just surge it and move on. But we still have the other node to roll, so we'll grab some more. And we'll go back. And we will begin settling. begin settling. This we can't settle for. This is atrocious. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do the 3C, and then I'll re-enchant some of this gear. Like, this, I need a better last rights, and I need to re-enchant re these wings. So. The mastery stats in future uploads. Um, yeah, normally, I mean, the reason I don't do that is because it's usually obvious. But if people find it helpful, I guess I can just, like paste a little template in like I do with my gear suggestions.
I would say uh, not ignore the other ones because the stats from maxing out all the covenants all stack. So when you start rolling like blessings on all your different your different covenants that you have like above a certain level, all those like stats carry over. So uh, no matter which god you have equipped. So yeah, definitely don't just stick with Thor. Yeah, I'm seeing all dragons here, which is nice for Isolde. Jeweler is a dragon at heart. Look at that attack. <laughs> Only asking because outside of main stats you never know. I would say, like, usually you only need crit and crit percentage and skill if it's an assassin who needs to get a critical hit to one-shot an opponent. Uh, on pretty much every character you roll, you definitely want crit damage down because you're getting hit by people, either assassins or, like, Lena AoEs. You're gonna get crit, and that will reduce the damage you take from that. The Goddess Trial Dragons are not technically Dragon Class. No, they are Monster or Boss Class. What do you have for stuff? She won't have this level of attack against Lightbringer in PvP. This is uh, boosted from being against a dragon and from being in Awakening mode. They get like plus 50% all stats in, the, in those Awakening fights. I don't know what the actual number is, but it's a significant boost. I remember I posted on the Free Kong account, I posted um, Aaron doing my Aaron Awakening, and he had something like over 3,000 attack as well. I don't even know what she does. What do you have, Jugler? Magic Guard. Oh well. Let's just do it. I usually kind of let them come to me a little bit. So I can then combo them. Does anyone have surprising range? Like, I literally don't even know what she does. Yeah, she tanks everything, I can see that. We'll let her tank everything next turn. Yes, come join me, dragons! Let's AoE everyone but Jugler. See what happens. <laughs> uh, that was a lot of invulnerables. No one else can join the fray? Uh, 
Just go have fun, fellas. Oh, Isolde on Isolde violence. Yeah, they made this one easy, didn't they? I remember Lena's being not easy. Okay. I'm gonna re-roll some gear, but that's not really going to... My gear re-rolls aren't gonna change the Selvaria interaction, so Lone Bird, if you want to test Selvaria, we can do that now, I think. I don't think my rolls will really change things. Because I have a little bit of bulk on this already. I'm missing bulk from this. Like, when I re-roll this, I'm gonna have more bulk. But also, what's the test? Like, I don't even know what Selvaria does, so I guess I'm just gonna... Obviously, I don't want her to be surrounded by tanks. I didn't equip her 3C, and I can't do it now. But I don't think that changes her bulk either, does it? Oh, I guess her 3C is what has her faction buff. So she won't have her faction buff. Want my faction buff, Lone Bird? Come back in 15 seconds. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Dragon Mom? There you are. tankier? Yeah, they must be. Okay, we're gonna go werewolves for this test, too. Alright, get me. I have my lizards for the lizard riders right here, but my werewolves are upstairs being fed. Fair enough. So we'll go with lizard riders just to keep these guys happy. Should I? No, I'm not going to have um, Aura. I'm just trying to carefully pick people who won't interfere with this interaction.
Do you have attacking from tree techs? I want to be on a tree. I want more tree defense. Run away, boys. We can put animations on. That was, uh... Not super close, though. I guess we don't need animation since you're only attacking the hero. Okay, well, that was, like, with a decently... Decently buffed... Isolde. Hey, guild rewards. Yes, more summoning. Let's, um... Yeah, the shield really helps keep last rights up, too. So, shield OP for sure. Um, we are going to roll. Let's just roll right over these, since I don't really care about keeping this roll. This is where my money's gonna go. We want high attack with hit points and defense. I guess I'll take a baseline roll soon. Well, this is like 8% attack. That's a baseline roll that we'll keep. But I don't mind re-rolling on this one because it has literally no secondary stats and it's not max attack, so we can keep rolling on this one. This is technically more attack with a slightly better side stat. Yeah, Kyutaru, you said it. Can't wait to uh, have her be insta first banned and never get to use her. Okay, here's seven and seven. That's a little bit less attack, but at least we got some bulk. I would probably roll on the other one now. What, did, what roll did I have on my other one? Yeah, we'll start re-rolling on this. Almost. If this was attack. Ah! This was something. Wow, what is with the high int? I guess, should I do the tinfoil hat thing and, um... Equip these on, like, a healer? They want me to build Jace now. I should move on to building Jace. But I'm getting very picky about her. I don't like that better. Rolling accessories is pain. I agree with Kitaru. He already experienced this pain. All his money's gone. Look at that! Look! Come on! This is the roll if that was attack. Huh, does anyone inti use... Full moon breeze wings in the future. Not in my box, I don't think. That hurts.
Another max int roll. Like the fourth max int roll on these. My gold! That's just a straight up seven and seven. Isn't that what I have on the other roll? I mean, it's better than this. Seven and seven with int. This is seven and seven with magic defense. I'll keep re-rolling the int one. Let's go get more scrolls and let's change her last rights to another one that I can more easily re-roll. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to build one from scratch if I wanna re-roll it. Fortunately, we have a good closet full of last rights waiting to be built. So let's go get some scrolls. Actually, and we still, if we want to be perfectionist, we still need a couple attack stones. So let's go pick those up too. Attack stones. Who am I kidding? Blazing Zero, yeah. I mean, through 200 enchant scrolls to never get close to the stats you want, that is like beginner mode scroll enchanting pain. I've definitely, I think I used on one of Bernhardt's gears, and it wasn't even a gear that I use anymore. Maybe it was his uh, unique armor. I definitely did like 800 rolls to get a usable roll on his armor. So yeah, enchanting in this game is pain. Oh, she'll be further down since I put that uh, crappy last rights on her. Let's see if we can get a baseline roll on this. Basically looking for like as close to 5% attack and then 10% of the other two stats would be ideal. Oh, see, this is not bad. Got a little bit of attack and then like a little bit more bulk. Feels crazy re-rolling on this, but I'm doing it a bit. Because like under 10% HP, your maxes for defense and hit points on this are both 15%, so like that's still not really in the realm of keepable HP, but it's better than zero. Plus we can improve on that 3% attack as well. My like keepable threshold borderline is usually like 3% attack and then nine and nine or more attack, and then I'll accept lower rolls on the, the defensive rolls. So 3% attack, I don't really accept lower rolls. If that was 5% attack, that would be an easy god roll. difficult to see a slight improvement on this. Oh man, if these were better stats. Do we need Full Moon, Gerald and Layla? Like if that was percent HP, that would be good, but not flat HP. Yeah, I guess they can't. Clotaire can't use rights. Alright, here's good bulk with no attack. 
It's still only, like, it's the secondary bulk stat. I was thinking about keeping this for someone else, but I have rolls like this already for other people. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna keep this roll. I'll get to 50. I'll start re-rolling my accessory again. Okay, we'll keep this roll. This is fine. It gives us all the stats we want, and we can improve it later on. Like, we're running into not being able to max Jace tier, especially after I, like, actually increase this last rights. Let's just take a look at my other last rights again. Yeah, see, this is arguably better because it's similar HP. It's the same HP, isn't it? And it's just trading more attack for, like, 10% defense. I guess it depends. Is she going to need that much attack? Anyway, I'll build... On the basis that I'm going to need that defense, I'll build this up. It's worth 2% attack for 10% defense. But let's roll this a little bit more. Maybe we get defense here, too. This is the face of someone who's really enjoying enchanting. Beat seven and seven. Flat stats are definitely really good if it is your main attack stat on top of a good percent roll of your attack. So like if I had like 10% attack plus 20 flat attack on this accessory, that would be really good for a DPS. Same with weapons, like the Holy Grail roll on your weapons is 15% plus 30. If you get that, that's a killer. Literally a killer roll. Let's go attack and HP. Exactly, Kampa. My stream is, uh... Making me not want to enchant ever again as well. Alright, this is gonna be it for this accessory, I guess, so... We'll, um, re-roll... Nice! At least my luck came back for these. Yes, I'm getting you three extra HP. Of course I am. And we want to roll this as well for one attack. Yes, we do. There it is. Cleaned up those rolls. Do I have any more of these? No. I will clean up these rolls too. But let's build her rights. Am I going to actually build this with dupe rights? That wouldn't be right, would it? Look at all these dupe rights. How many last rights do I actually need? Let's build... Let's at least put one dupe rights in here. Just for uh, shock value. Now we can get the rest with four. You got wings for honor points, Lone Bird, nice! Make sure you post that in the uh, Happy Birthday Red Guy channel. I can't imagine that's going to happen to a lot of people. Michael got four Isolde and a Jace in 140 pulls. That's really good luck. 
I did 140 pulls for one Isolde, and I hadn't yet gotten to my second SSR yet. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, someone made a thread. I think it was Seer made a thread under Lang Mobile Chat on Maincord called Happy Birthday Red Guy. And it's basically just to ping Red Guy whenever someone gets a random wings drop. It was originally supposed to be just for Timeless Trials because he swept Timeless Trials like many of us did before today. And uh, I was teasing him that now a bunch of people are going to get wings from Timeless Trials and tag him. So is she done? She's fully cast. She has max these things. Her equipment is okay. Like that could be better. That could be better. Time to see what some of the whales got. Speaking of which... Oh yeah. This beats me by 3% HP and 2% defense. Look at that. See, this is what the roll that I was talking about. For me, if this was like 3% and 11 and 10, that would be a keeper. So this is above and beyond that. Beautiful roll. This is definitely all bulk. I think I have a slightly better Neords. I have a little bit less bulk, but I have way more attack. And here, this is a gorgeous roll too. All three stats. I only have two stats and they're both lower than these. But overall, like, my attack is similar to Kyutaru's here. He has 600 more um, HP and like 40 more defense, so yeah. Good bulk on that one. Okay, and this is um, Biomo with his bulky gear. 7% HP on uh, Mimir's, so that'll definitely give you yeah, like a thousand more hit points than me. This is just an okay roll. Like, it's a keeper. It's just okay. Okay, this is a gorgeous roll. No wonder he has that on. Normally I wouldn't run tier on her, but like you can't pass up that roll. Actually, I should, um... I should check my, like, non- meta gear to see if I have... Well, we want rights for sure. Yeah, so the only thing that's really kind of flexible is this one, and this is actually a good roll. Do I have anything better? Doubt it. That's going to be a Clotaire roll. And I know I don't have a better flower boon, because... All my flower boon rolls are shit. We do not like. Yeah, no, I mean, this is, uh... This is it for her, so I guess we're moving on to Jace. I'll come back to her and tweak her a little bit more. Off stream. That's just to get her up in the uh, the power levels a little bit. I didn't look at yours, Sarah. So similar gear. I have better defense. He has better hit points. So we probably have similar-ish rolls. Okay, he has more attack on this. That means he's going to lose attack for bulk somewhere else. Ooh, Emda. That's a nice roll. This is a full bulk roll. Look at that. That's actually really nice. You can use that on a few people. And this is definitely better than mine as well. Yeah, I need to keep re-rolling my wings. Ooh, Hale, my playoff opponent. What do you got going on? Oh, you're on Breeze. That's right, Hale... There's probably a giant monologue in uh, Main Chord right now about how he doesn't think that wings are necessary on her. So, he's going with Breeze instead. Nice attack. Other than that, his stats are similar. He has less defense than me, same HP. 
30 more attack, and he's on Breeze instead of Full Moon, so Full Moon will translate to more stats overall in battle as well. Let's go get some more Full Moon Scrolls. I'll do a couple more rolls on her, and then I'll start building Jace. Actually, you know what? I should build Jace first, because I could roll all my gold away and then not be able to build him. That would be sad. I guess I'll stare you up as well, Jace. Mm. I gotta say, I'm not a giant fan of um, Isolde's Echo of Light skin. Like, her base skin is pretty good, and I can see her getting a pretty cool, like, shop skin later on, or a Macho Lotto skin, so... I'm not worried about spending money this month. Not a huge incentive to do it, especially since I've already gotten these characters both pretty starred up. So, yeah. Not worried about the EOLs. Jace's EOL is kind of cool, because he's playing a five-string bass. And I am a fellow baser. So it would be kind of cool to have that, but I also don't really care about, like, modern looking skins in my fantasy game, so... Like, the musician skins are funny little collectibles, but... Kind of feels weird running. Rockstar Jace. Oh my gosh. Why make me watch this huge monologue? I'm just trying to change your class. The frantic clicking. Let me skip. Maybe I should put away the Crocs for this part. They're not interested in Jace at all. They're interested in um, seeing Isolde get built. Although I'm going to have to bring Isolde into battle for one of Jace's Gates of Fate missions, so I guess they'll be interested in that still. So yeah, the summons were expensive. I didn't get any Breeze Wings. So really the main, the only victory today was getting the characters I wanted. And now we save up till Giver. This Olda needs Jace and Prisha. And if you don't have Prisha already, there is a Prisha banner coming up next week. It's just a raid up, though. So you still have to battle RNG for it. All right, here comes... Oh, no, I was already in my final class. Good. I was going to say, here comes our final class change animation. Surely I have gear made for him already. Hmm. 
Maybe I don't have it fully built. Weakener's wearing that. I want to give him a star crown. This one's not built. Dobermans versus as old as horns? Oh, that's easy. Dobermans every time. If they took as old as horns away and gave her two Dobermans in her skin, that would be an easy, instant day one EOL. All right, we're going to cast him. This is going to be expensive. This is going to put me in the danger zone for gold. Why am I fully 10 casting Jace? He's a core member of the Myth Meme team. I'm going to save enough casting mats and gold to like get other characters in my box up to like 7 and 8. But uh, Jace deserves respect as a Myth Meme team member. Wait, where's all my Breeze Scrolls? Let's go buy some. Anything else we needed while we're in here? Some more of these guys, I think. Actually, I'm going to need way more arena stones for Jace, because I used all my good arena stones on Azulda. So if I'm trying to roll Jace, I'm going to need to buy, like... Pretty much every slot. Yeah, now watch me get good attack rolls on this, because, uh... I got all my int rolls. On Isolde. Come on, Jace's gear. Ugh. I mean, obviously not. You like seeing high numbers, but come on, put them on int. Three percent int with anything else is my keeper. And no, magic defense does not really count. Magic defense is good on him. We're going back for more scrolls. <clears throat> yeah, unfortunately, like the reverse psychology thing is not real in this game. It's a funny meme, but it's not uh not actually a thing. What arena stones for Zolda? I would go hit points, attack, defense, crit chance down, and crit damage down. Make her bulky. Alright, after this we will go get more Breeze Scrolls, build up his gear. But we can at least do his Gates of Fate. That'll be a little combat break. Is he going to need Enchant? Is he going to need Enchant for his Gates of Fate stage as Lone Bird? Really, I just came in here to bond him up since that's my next big uh, gold sink. And I want to make sure I don't run out of gold. One arena win? 
and Time Rift 3 1. Alright. Let's go get some Breeze Scrolls then. Oh, it was a rhetorical question, as in, no, we never really need enchants for, uh, the easy, easy Gates of Fate maps. That's a sweet, rad teleport. This is his sweet, rad AoE. Let's get something. Other than attack. Come on, game. <laughs> All attack rolls. If I saw a roll that was like hit points and magic defense with no int, I'd be tempted to keep it. Okay, here we go. Good. There, that's a functional roll. We get to keep that. Building equipment also is gold costly. Worth it. Let's get him some baseline masteries. Oh yeah, Isolde ate all these too. Sure is, my friend. It sure is. enough for now. We'll uh, finish the bonds. Oh, he needed a 3-1 3-1 elite. Everyone loves watching the uh, earliest time rift maps on stream. You take too long, you too take too long. You're a tank, what the heck are you doing here? Yeah, you're fine. Alright. Here we go. Ah, uh, time to sit back and enjoy the show. Ugh, damn, my tea's cold. Ugh. That's a sign that I need to go and actually get lunch. Oh, it is lunchtime. The Doberman's already ate lunch.
超越の力には何者も匹敵せん Transcender knows what's up. Wait, why are my animations on? No! Oh, I put them on after my Lone Bird test? And then left them on. Okay, so then we'll do an arena match, hopefully against a very community-focused and generous one-unit arena defense team. Surely there are plenty of those out there. Alright, some sweet class mats. What do you got for me? A real team? Come on. Come on, real teams. There's a one guy. Do we want to take out a real team? A real team with my unbuilt Jace? Should we put Isolde in here? Let's see if this works. Who do you replace? Oh wait, you want sanction. Maybe we'll win, who knows? Yep. Oh man, Jace survived too. You can tell he was a key part of that victory actually. Okay, so we're bonding. Back to the bondage realm. I haven't done his gates of fate yet, so he won't be in there. <laughs> Jace had the most damage dealt and the most kills. Way to go, bruh. See, this just goes to show how important he is. Oh, my gold. Okay, next is Flash of Brilliance with Isolde, and then the fifth one is Log, yeah. Which, I just took all Log's gear, so hopefully that doesn't matter. Jace takes no damage and no civilians evacuate. Wait, really? Oh, I've I've always been one of those people who uh, never has gold. Especially since casting started, gold has been like the major struggle for me, so don't be too surprised about that. The fact that I had over uh, 10 million was actually a huge feat. I was saving up for the past several weeks, knowing that I was going to have this like character build fest coming. So the sad part about this, though, is that, um... <clears throat> like, I'll have my Isolde and my Jace built, but if I want to bring in real characters for playoffs, like if I want to bring in Andy, if I want to bring in Nemia, if I want to bring in Eshin, those guys are not cast, because I've been using all my casting on Mythbox guys, like Sage of the Trees and Transcender. Is my Transcender fully 10 cast? Yes, he is. But it's worth it. It's worth it. Worth it for that one video. Oh, this is interesting. Are they not allowed to get in there? Any enemy reaches the designated location. But all we have to do is go with two or less heroes and defeat all enemies. Oh, I see. I have heroes out here. 
Well, Bozel's always my go-to guy in these. We'll put Sanction back on you. Okay, two heroes, defeat all enemies. Ooh, 10 cast Elaine. That sounds very nice, Lone Bird. Wait, what was that one feat? Do I have a feat that I'm never getting again? What did I miss? Did I not defeat all enemies? Like, that's why the battle ended. So there must be reinforcements that come in on future turns, and if you, like, wipe the enemies on one turn, you don't get to kill the reinforcements. Oh well, that feat is never getting done. <laughs> what a stupid feat. Win in one turn with Isolde at 58p. Sorry that I too efficiently did the thing that the feat told me to do. Win the battle in one turn. not going to show me where the spot is. Okay. I guess we're bringing teleporters and act again, just in case. Jace reaches the target destination. That's easy. Oh, I didn't bring teleport on himself. What an idiot. Oh, well, he should be able to do his little jump there. Classic broken Z-Long bullshit. But I'm not going to get too upset about 30,000 gold. Although at the end of this stream, when I'm rolling Jace's enchants and I'm exactly 30,000 gold short, then we'll know I've been robbed. Okay, this is the one that I bring Isolde for. Win in five, Jace defeats two. Where you at, Dragon Mom? You can't be too far down the list now. Win in five. Jace defeats two. Shouldn't be too troublesome. All of her music is rad. Ooh, 
Okay, Jace defeated too. Whoa! Oh, I should have done it from over there. I wonder if that AoE is enough to kill one of these little PvE enemies. Let's just check. Should be. If total crap stats. Get him. <laughs> okay, one left, and we have to use my ungeared log for it. Okay, lots of wheels apparently. Win in five with the Zolda above half. We can do that. Wow, it was pouring rain earlier today and now the sun just came out. Okay, we'll bring our Bozel, and then we'll go find this Naked Light of Genesis. The obsolete Jace. Okay, what are we doing? Jace has to arrive within five turns. So clearly we're putting his teleport back on. And we're just gonna skip him down there with old Loggy Baby. Go into the future, my dear boy. Like, is this literally where I'm supposed to go? That's very close to me. Is there a second phase to this fight? Was that his fifth? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it when the entire Gate of Fate storyline is just teleporting somewhere with a character that has teleport. Alright, let's get him unlocked. I mean, I guess it's showcasing his skills. This guy has teleport. Now go and use it. some junk buy-in to do. This. I need one of these. Gonna need a bunch of these. Probably more, actually. Okay, we're officially under... 10 million. Is 
Officially under 10 million. Sad. Oh, I didn't even buy enough. Oh, you got 10 of those for some reason. Laziness is the reason. Oh my goodness. Okay. Still seven and a half million left. It's not dire yet. Oh. Yeah. I thought you'd be here. Give me that. <laughs> okay, we still have to... Where are you at, Jace? Your power level is actually pretty good. That's fine. Oh yeah, we need... Primarily HP stones. We need every stone. HP stones, int stones. Let's get his 3C unlocked though. Then we'll worry about rolling stuff, because that is gold expenditure behind RNG, which we do not like. Oh, that's interesting. I get to fight two Jesses and Tormilk. Now, do you have to go back to one of those? I guess you can just stand, can't you? Yeah, I got several... What did I get? I got uh, one, two, three, four, five Isoldas and four Jaces and one Ultimuler. That reminds me, I have to go back and star up my Ultimuler. Let's do that right now. We'll do that for Lone Bird while he's still awake. Oh yeah, it is enough to get him to five stars. Here we go. Five star ulti getting up there from off banners. This is all off banners, by the way. I've never summoned ult muller. Looking good, ulti. Looking good. Okay, back to the Jace game. Hoffman, what are you doing here? Interesting. Need to save for Prisha next week. Yeah, I hear ya. See, this music is rad. Why is it not in the game? I mean, obviously it's in the game. We're listening to it, but I want to set it as my map music. Will you use your act again? Oh, 
勝利の道は血と茨の道だ。三振しろ。王国の盾がここにいる。This music is super rad. Is their Hoffman gonna overwrite my Hoffman zone? I guess、uh, the Eshin's gonna take care of the Hoffman zone. She took the bait! And that's not gonna matter because Hoffman's gonna be dead. Oh, or is he? It did matter. Enemy Eshin's gonna sweep. Rip. And rip. <laughs> Ah,、uh, terrain. Cake walk. Speaking of cake, I have cake upstairs. Mmm. I'm hungry. Is that good enough? Is that good enough to, uh, Be done. Obviously, I can do this later off stream. Let's look at what other people have done with them. There's our good friend Kyutaru again. Not special? Okay, we'll skip it then. I want to see what,、uh, what Hale has since I'm going to be fighting him. Where are you, Hale? There's Johnny. Let's see what old Johnny's got on here. Just int. Average gear on Johnny? There's Hale. Oh, yeah, he went with、uh, electric. That, is... that makes sense for Hale. And he did go with book. Actually, that's a good question. I wonder if I have a good book. Because this is a kind of just okay roll. Actually, it's pretty good. But I know I have books sitting around here. Okay, I would get more int, but I would totally lose his other rolls. So I'll, I'll keep him with this for now. Did I forget anything? Oh man, his defense is so bad, though. I have no defense rolls on any of his gear. Oh, I guess I didn't finish his AB stones, though. Um, I think. Isn't that my goal for the stream? So I've got Jace built up I, almost. 
I can finish him off stream. I've got his Solda built up, and I can finish, like, tinkering with her roles. I still am not done with her roles, but roles are really aggravating to watch on stream because they're so... Um, frustrating. It's frustrating to roll in chance. What was I going to re-roll? Am I still working on that? Like, that's fine for now, but I can I can fix that. I can fix her rights as well. But those are pretty much just, like... That's just fussiness, re-rolling those things. Everything is good enough. It's good enough. Especially if I'm going to get eliminated in the first round of the playoffs, like, I don't really need to worry about having perfect rolls either. So I think I'm going to call it there. I'm going to go eat some cake. And... Then I'll decide what to do with my last 8 million gold before playoffs, so I do have some other characters that still desperately need casting if I want to bring them in uh, for playoffs. Like, if I want to dump the myth memes and bring in a real box, which I don't know if I can do that. But yeah, Isolde and Jace are going into this box for sure um, for... I guess, I mean, we have another week before playoffs too, so I can save up some more gold to cast up some other emergency people. He's 10 cast. He's doing pretty nicely. Who am I going to drop? Oh, I hate to drop Sage. I mean, I guess I kind of can, because Perma Band Isolda will be in the box. Oh, is she going to be all the way at the bottom because she's not synced? No, I guess she's powerful even without, like, gear. How powerful? Where you at, woman? More powerful than some of my geared characters. She's gonna be right at the top, and I just didn't see her. Silly dragon face. There are some characters that are completely invis invisible to me whenever I'm looking for them, like Helena is one. Whenever I'm looking to put Helena in for something, I always scroll by her like 40 times. I can never find Helena. Well, there's Jace. We'll chuck him in since we see him. I think we get rid of Oboro. We'll buy Bernhardt stuff. Or Burn. What do you need now? You need a full moon hat. Well, like I was saying, my bonnets are really bad. I'd like to put a bonnet on him, but my bonnets are atrocious. So that's something I'll have to roll. And I guess I give him my other... Not as good wings. Anyway, we'll do that later. Yeah, I mean, I think that's it for now. We had a pretty good sesh. In terms of summoning, we got what we wanted. It was expensive, but we got what we wanted. So I think uh, I feel okay leaving it there. So thank you everyone for coming out, supporting the summoning stream, um, and hopefully getting some of that summoning itch out of your system by seeing uh, a huge stack get totally dumped and arguably wasted. And um, gonna have to start building that stack up again from the ground up for Giver. Big Giver fan. I want those characters, even though I will not be using them in Apex. Anyway, that's it for me. I'm going to go feed these crocs, uh, feed myself, and then I'll be back for, I guess, testing in Apex this weekend. Yeah, see what I can do. See what five-star Jace can do. Probably more than what Sage was doing for me. All right, catch you in the next one. Best of luck on your own summons. Happy Langrissing, everyone.